Okay, welcome back to the channel, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Today I'm going to look at the M113A1 from AFE Club. This kit will be my next feature on this channel, and I wanted to take a moment to look at the parts for the first time along with you. We can see the hull here. The vehicle is essentially just a box, so I have decided that this model will feature in my first interior. Here are the tracks. I expect to replace these since the track will need to sag over the wheels. I just don't think I'll be able to get these vinyl ones to look right. These instructions are very clear and appear to have markings for seven different vehicles. There is some PE included and a decal sheet. Okay, let's get started. The parts look finely detailed and crisp. I am not seeing any unwanted flash. I do however see quite a few pin marks, but we'll have to see if many or if not all of these will be hidden from view once constructed. Here is a closer look at the parts tree labeled C. There is a small instrument panel and it appears that the dials are replicated as decals. The door ramp looks well detailed on both sides. Here we have parts tree D. Two are provided and cover details such as the rear benches and driver's seat cushions. Next is parts tree E. I am seeing a few radios and Pioneer tools. Mm -hmm. 
Now looking at parts tree A, we find the wheels, sprockets, and other running gear parts. Part tree X holds a series of rifles and jerry cans. I suspect I will need to load the interior of the vehicle with gear, so these parts will certainly come in handy. Next we have the hull, the detail is sparse, but I imagine that it's true to the real vehicle. Now let's look at part tree B. Here we find many of the larger panels for the interior, including a panel for the floor. And on the other side, we again find pin marks and pieces of sprue that will need to be removed. These tracks should be replaced with individual links to provide the appropriate sag unless you are building the vehicle with the side skirts. Next up, I'm going to have to look online for these tracks and any reference books on the vehicle. Well that does it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.